Not a lot of people are thinking about wheat right now, but this is the perfect time between wheat cycles to look back at last year's crop to see what we want to do differently for this next year. So we sent Tracy McMurphy out to talk with soil nutrient specialist Brian Arnall about enriched strips and how they worked in this past year's crop. We had trials out. We've been doing large scale trials for the last two years. Mm -hmm. These plots are 60 foot by 400 foot, producer plants, producer harvest, and we just catch grain. So we're trying to see how the, the sensor did, the enriched strip did, compared to what the producer normally does. Okay. Two years ago, our, our 09 wheat harvest, we averaged about $9 more either in savings or increased yield. We basically cut in rate by, on the average, about seven pounds over all nine sites. We kept the same yield, and so we made more money. In a couple of sites, we put down more fertilizer and we gained more yield. In this 09 or this 010 harvest, we actually did even better. Okay. We've got <clears throat> about a 14 to 15 dollar savings per acre, and that's either a cut of uh, cutting the nitrogen rate or increasing the nitrogen rate and gain, gaining more yield. We'll have those results. They're posted on the website www.npk.okstate.edu. Okay. Uh, as soon as the protein analysis are done, we'll have those results because where everybody's been talking about protein this last year, what we can, can right. do. Looking at the 09 protein results, out of every location where we cut the end rate or we increase the end rate, we didn't do any different on protein than the producer. So even when we applied 50 or 60 pounds less nitrogen, protein didn't change. Okay. If we increased the nitrogen, we only increased protein one time out of nine times when we increased nitrogen. So that top dress of that time last year didn't make a big difference in protein. So money that so can be saved. Money that can be saved. So we'll see this year if us either decreasing nitrogen or increasing nitrogen had any effect on protein. Okay, so some really important information came out really of that. Important so information came out. make sure we're ready to do that this fall. We've got to do that this fall. With the enriched strip, you've got to make sure to have it in every single field every year. It doesn't right. hurt. It's simple to get out there. It's basically a high rate of nitrogen you put in a strip on the field. You can apply using sprayer and hydrous rig or, or a skid mount sprayer or the back of the four wheeler. As, as long as it's 10 foot wide or a little bit long wider, anywhere between 10 and 200 foot, I guess you could say wide, right. and a couple hundred yards long out in the middle of your field. At, at least you have a yes or no. You don't have to use a sensor. You don't have to use any educator right. or, or scientist to get a number. If you see that strip show up in December, January, February, March, mm -hmm. it's time to fertilize. Okay. If you don't see it, you should probably be finding something better to do. Okay. <laughs> We're also thinking that if uh, you start seeing they have these strips out there, you know, protein, like I already mentioned, is a big deal. If the strip starts showing up a little bit later, we might be able to utilize these strips to help boost our protein by seeing them later on that flag leaf or flowering period okay. to help identify, are we going to get a potential to, to boost some protein here? Okay, great. Well, some great information to uh, be planning for 2011. All right, thank, thank you. you. Tracy.